Gaddafi speaking earlier. Well, getting news uh, from the territory, yes, yeah, still under Gaddafi's control is extremely difficult. So we've been relying on eyewitnesses to tell us what's happening on the streets. We spoke again today with a resident of Tripoli. Here is what she told us. We are keeping her identity secret to prevent, of course, any reprisals. For the past uh, 24 hours or so, it's been very calm. Um, I've seen a couple of planes and a couple of helicopters, but I couldn't uh, really, I can't see if there were military uh, planes and the helicopters or not. Do you have any sense of, uh, of, or do you know anybody who is actually prepared to go out on the streets at this point? I want to get a, a sort of profile of those who, who are prepared, if at all, to protest at this point. Everybody is expecting a bloody scene happening tonight. That's why, uh, from my point of view, that's why I'm seeing police cars. They are just waiting for protesters to come out because mm. the uh, public is uh, angry from the uh, uh, two statements made by the government today. Saif al-Islam and his vicious uh, statements threatening the public and uh, Qaddafi's uh, desperation of proving and denying that he is falling and dying uh, one second at a time. Uh, we do know uh, and we've seen reports of many uh, people trying to leave the country, uh, both through the Tunisian border and through the Egyptian border. Are you aware of any of your family and friends uh, trying to do the same? Nobody wants to flee, at least from the people I know. Um, some rare cases have been trying to escape. Maybe they're fearing for the safety of their children. Maybe they have other reasons. But uh, for most of the uh, people I'm connected to, nobody wants that. So just to confirm, today um, you are expecting something to happen uh, at some point. Uh, you think, I think you described it as a, as a bloodbath. But as things stand at present at this point, things are very, very quiet on the streets of Tripoli. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Um, it is there's a huge difference between quiet and very, very worrying quietness happening around town. So this uh, worrying quietness is just uh, a preparation for uh, a massive fight or, or some miracle will happen and Gaddafi would surrender. All right, that's the latest from Tripoli as, as we can bring you. Our Ben Wiedemann was the first Western journalist to make...